Hi there, Caesar here. Uh, let's go. So in, in the last video, we fixed uh, connections in, in our graph, in our dependency graph. Uh, this is under the push, a push model. So basically every time uh, an input, well, the node's input change uh, that uh, trigger the node evaluation and the output should push that value through the graph to the next node if it's connected to something. That was it in the, in the last video. And in this one, we are going to implement branching because we haven't talk at all about that and yeah and basically maybe do some cleanup if if there's time so branching so in a directed graph uh, uh, a graph is, you know a set of nodes and each node has inputs and outputs and those inputs the, the output could be connected to an input right you can like draw lines between outputs and inputs uh, so an output could be connected to many inputs, other nodes inputs. Uh, so we don't have that and that will create like a branch, but we don't have that at this moment. So let's just do it. Uh, so we need to create a new test. Uh, well, first let me, see. let me do this. So this would be like push model case and this is you need test dot test case and we don't need that okay so this still run fine uh and actually <coughs> excuse me actually in the evaluate I would like to I would like to log the name. So yeah, cool. So we need a new test. Uh, so let's go for it. Uh, def, uh, so test branching, I guess. So yeah, let's take the graph from the latest test and basically do this it's basically the same should be so we take the graph from test persistent or test node node connection do we have yeah but instead of creating a node 2 we need to create a node 3 this will be called node 3 and then this value would be I don't know uh, 8 and this should be 8 plus 5 so now uh, the node 1 we have a, a graph with three nodes and node 1 the output is connected to this new node node 3 right. so if we run this We need to define node three why oh because this is like that okay everything's good uh everything's running fine so that's awesome so let's uh test the persistence of this kind of stuff of the branching uh so in order to do that we can do it like in a new yeah let's do a new def test branching persistence so this will return the graph and this is probably just the same as this test so let's paste this here and we get this from test branching uh we get the node one we change the value 
Uh, so this value now it's let's say one. So we make sure that the value in node one has been updated. Um, we make sure that this now it's four instead of thirteen. And in node three, we make sure that node three it's now uh this result is oh sorry node three get the this is eight and this is four is that correct looks like it did and we have 10 instead of 9 is that my error uh, line 66 so node 2 this one node the values oh there no two value one is five and um value two is of node two is uh is one no yes this one right four should be nine man so confusing So yeah, it looks like it's it's not doing it. Let me invert the test. Yeah, it's not doing it. Okay, it's not me. It's the, the it's not implemented because no three is passing. Yeah, so it looks like it's evaluating for the last node connected and not the previous one. So let's fix that. And that might be because because data source is a single object, but we need branching now. So let's change data source. Well, let's change the name first of uh, sources or something that makes sense. Okay, and then instead of being known, we will change that to set. So they are unique sources and instead of replace it oops instead of replace it we do we add that same here um and here instead of get the value we do a loop so for port in self dot sources we go there and we say port dot value equal value so if we run the test it's all good so we can see how the evaluation gets uh yeah so uh where's yeah, test branching persistence we can see how when we change node 1 node 2 and node 3 are evaluated automatically like the last three logs so that's that's good that's what we want uh, so that's pretty much it for now uh, yeah I think that's it for the push model and in the next video, well, let me save this, let me commit this, so, cool, so let's uh, git commit fo, uh, so let's say implement branching, so yeah, push model implement. Okay.
so now we have we are kind of done with push uh, everything is working so we will merge this into master because all the tests are passing so that's interesting if you are not too familiar with git so git check out master so we can go back to our master branch if i open the files now you will see that it's we'll still have like the old version with evaluate uh, so we basically want to merge from push to update this branch done so now if I go back to my editor we have the new test and we have our master branch up to date so yeah that's pretty much it for the push model in the next video we will start talking about a pool model and how to implement that so see you in the next one bye bye